Hi, my name is Caroline from Team GCM, and today we're going to be learning about shapes and the differences between two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. Now the supplies that I'm going to be using for this craft are mini marshmallows and toothpicks. So let's get started. We're going to start out by making a square. And how many sides does a square have? Four. That's right. Count with me. One, two, three, four. You'll need four toothpicks and four marshmallows. They're going to act as your connectors. Put your marshmallows on the end of your toothpicks and connect them to make a square. A square is a 2D shape. It's a form with two dimensions, width and height. Now that you've completed a 2D shape, let's make a 3D shape only using squares. Make another square and grab four toothpicks and connect both squares together with those four toothpicks. And now you've made a cube, which is a 3D shape, a form with three dimensions, width, height, and depth. The toothpicks that you use to connect both squares represent depth. And now we're gonna make a different 2D shape. This shape has three sides. What shape has three sides? A triangle, that's correct. Count with me, one, two, three. Put your connectors on your toothpicks and form your triangle, which is a 2D shape, just like our square, a form with width and height. Let's make a 3D shape using only triangles. You'll need three more toothpicks and only one marshmallow as your connector. Stick your three toothpicks in the marshmallows that are holding the triangle together, and then grab your one marshmallow and pull all of those toothpicks together and you made a triangular pyramid. This is a 3D shape using only triangles. A 3D shape has width, depth, and height. Now for our last 3D shape, we're going to be making a triangular prism, which uses triangles and squares. So go ahead and make a triangular shape, grab three toothpicks and three marshmallows as connectors, Stick those toothpicks into the base of your triangle and then connect those marshmallows at the top with toothpicks. And there you have it, a triangular prism, which has squares like we made in the first section of the video and triangles. And now here is the picture of all of the 3D shapes that we've made during this video. As you can see, some of the shapes look like objects that we've used in life before. I think the triangular prism looks like a tent. The fun part is mashing these shapes together. If you grab the triangular prism and put it on the cube, it'll make a house shape like this picture right here. If you do this activity, get creative in mashing all of your 3D shapes together to create new forms. And that's it, you did so well. Now, if you make a 2D, a 3D, or a different kind of form like the house that I made, go ahead and post it on Facebook or Instagram and tag us so we can see it. And that's all, have a great day.